and welcome back to this week's episode of Wibbles Wobbly Life. Today I'm going to be showing you another two secrets. And this secret starts with me being near the top of a mountain. And near the very top of the map of Wobbly Island. I am next to this camper van person who looks like he's half buried in snow and his camper van is broken down so I'm going to have a talk with him and see what he wants hey you listen here keep quiet they might be listening uh, okay weird things keep happening around this mountain it must be aliens I just need some proof. If you find anything, bring it here first. And don't tell anyone. You won't regret it. Um, okay, sir. So, what we have to do is try and get past this fence. That's the first thing I need to try and do. But once I manage to get past this fence, the next thing that you need to try and do is go into the lab with the massive doors which is just over here and i have done two videos on that which is actually three i did the science job i did ufo part one please go check that out if you want the ufo and then i did ufo part two which showed you how to unlock the UFO. Uh, part, part one showed you... Well, I mean... You put them together and you unlock the UFO. Just gonna come down here. I can see the big cogs. Whee! Ouchie. And what you want to do in this lab is you need to put your lab coat on so you can get past that door so I'm going to change in one of these booths here um, there it is I have like a sciencey hat something There we go, and then something to match for the pants. Doesn't look like there's much. Uh, maybe, maybe this will do. Right, so I have my scientist outfit on here. And I'm going to go through this door. Thank you, sir. And yay, I'm clear. And what you want to do is... I'm pretty sure... Oh, I, I wasn't clear by that one. Pretty sure there is a lift through here. Yes, there is. And you want to go up. Because we can't go down anymore. Now, I can't remember. I can't remember a lot of things, really. Um, I can't remember if it's this floor or not. No, it is not. So, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to get back in the lift and go up again. Press the up button. I'm coming all the way up. I went quite far up. Just gonna do a nice 360 there. And in here, I mean, there's a present, which gives you the secret service glasses. And you can't really miss it if you just hop in here there's a big sign saying proof of aliens 
And what did that guy want that we met at the camper van earlier? Yeah, he wanted proof of aliens. So, uh, I can get onto this desk. I can grab this proof of aliens. Oh, they're monitoring the jelly guy? What is he doing with all that jelly? Okay, this is some wobbly life conspiracy theories here. They're monitoring the person by the camper van. How can one man need so much jelly? Yeah, how? Okay, well, there's interesting things going on there. But now I am equipped with my proof of aliens. I'm going to go down. I'm going to... Looks like some FBI agents with some aliens. I'm going to go down again. And I'm... The weird thing is, I'm doing all of this going down just so I can go back up again to the surface which is weird oh come on uh don't no yeah, don't think it's that way yes yeah, through here I, I'm not allowed through any of these doors seriously Right, well now I have my proof of aliens. I'm going to push the big red button. You always want to push the big red button. I tried to grab it there, there we go. And then coming all the way up. Wanna go this way? Hello. Thank you, you opened the big doors. And now I can follow my own path of snow all the way back. Actually, where is my snow? Must have got rid of some of my snow. Oh well. Gonna make my own new path of snow all the way back to the camper van dude and give him this proof of aliens and then he said I won't regret it so hopefully he gives me something back I can see my own path here right here you go I knew it this is the proof I need well done young wobbly as a thank you, have one of my radar blocking helmets. It helps stop them listening in. Uh, okay, thanks for the tinfoil hat. Um, tell me down in the comments if tinfoil can block radio signals or whatever. Um, I personally don't think so, but I might be wrong. For this next secret, I need to go all the way down to the city. And I guess while I'm going down there, I will put on my new um, radar blocking uh, helmet. I'm just using my method of travel that I used in the speed run to get to the city. Boom! Landed perfectly without crashing. Going in the lift so I can get changed in here. 
where is it? Oh, it's right at the bottom. There we go. And I have my lab coat on. Maybe I can. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so the you the um FBI people can't listen to what I'm saying anymore. Gives me some privacy. Uh just going to use this to get over to where I need to be if I can grab it properly. Whoa, okay. Wait, why am um, why am I not ow? Okay, I kind of failed that bit. Maybe I should just walk because I'm not that great. And I am going to walk over to the hairdresser shop. As there is somebody in there who needs help. This is Close Cut Barbershop. And hello. Oh, geez, that looks like a bad haircut. I'm so glad you're here. I tried to cut my own hair and... Well, you can see the results. It's a mess. No one's going to want me to cut their hair when I look like this. You've got to find me a wig. Maybe you could find one at the TV studio. Please hurry. Uh, okay, and I have a new to-do list entry. A cut too far. And luckily, I was just at the TV studio. So I'm just going to go there. Whee! Uh, there we go. Right, can I see anything? Hmm. I can't see anything here that resembles a wig. Aha! So, after a bit of searching, whoa, I don't know what just happened then. After a bit of searching, I managed to find a wig in the TV studio. So, um, it was on the second floor, which is the floor of the wonderful Wobbly Quiz, as you can see on the board there. And I'm just going to... Fine get back down to the ground level here we go and now I need to take this wig back to the back to the hairdresser so he can cover up his hair and people actually want their hair to be cut by him so I'm just going to quickly put this in the back of the ambulance so I don't have to walk all the way there. Turn the lights on so the pedestrians will get out the way. Well, and the cars. Excuse me, coming through. An emergency. Right, here I am, close cut to barbershop. Need to give this poor person his wig. Here's your wig, sir. Wow. A wig, thank you so much. That looks much better. I've never had blonde hair before. And I've unlocked the bad haircut 
and the weak hair. I will just go and show you what these look like. And then we'll end the episode there. Oh, it's, it's going really cloudy now. Cloudy and it's night time. Wow. I'm going to go to the green screen on the first floor because there's a wardrobe. Seems like I always use this wardrobe. And uh, there's, I'll just show it better. This is the, the bad haircut. I don't really know why you would want to wear that. And then, I don't know if I went past it or not. I probably did. Is it down here? Oh, and then that's the wig hair. That does look so much better. <laughs> I'm just going to keep my tinfoil hat on for now. Anyway, thank you for watching this week's episode of Wibble's Wobbly Life. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone that you think will like it. Thank you for watching again, and goodbye. That is it for this week's episode of Wibble's Wobbly Life. There's many more videos on our channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you'll be notified whenever we drop new content. Thanks for watching and bye!